please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more informative videos like this. This video was created for one of our clients, but I felt it would help many people in this YouTube community. I am so grateful for our clients who are willing to become YouTube famous with us and contribute to the community. There's confusion about how Fishbowl is working when it comes to sending out emails. In Fishbowl, we go to Setup Settings. We'll see one area where email uh, settings are used. And if we go to Tools, Program Options, we'll see another area where email settings are used. But what you don't see under the hood is where Fishbowl is storing this information. QuickBooks stores the information under the user profile. And we might think that Fishbowl is storing this information in the database. but to see where Fishbowl is storing this information, we actually have to open up our file browser. There we go. So if we go to C, Program Files, Fishbowl, where Fishbowl is installed, and then go to Client, we see Email Templates, Client Properties, I think it's been a while since I looked at this. Let's see if it'll let me just open this in Notepad. Client properties. It's in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Generic email. Yeah, so this one from email okay so this is the right place from name from email generic email smtp user smtp server and notice that they're blank these are blank and they're blank because this is blank um that's the main thing to understand is Fishbowl does not save this in the database. It saves it in the client install. And what that means is if you, Lonnie, log in under your user on this machine and you fill in these email settings for yourself and you put your username and password here, your email SMTP setting, your from name, your from address right here. <laughs> if you're sitting at your computer and you're sending out emails, it will make sense because it will say it's coming from you. But if Jody decides to sit at your computer, it won't make sense. Even if Jody logs in to Fishbowl on your computer under Jody's username. Because she is on your computer, whatever emails she sends out of Fishbowl will look like they're coming from you, Lonnie. So it doesn't have to do with the user, it has to do with the machine. Now that is for these settings right here only. These settings that came from tools, program options. These are the per machine settings. There are no per user settings. There's only a per machine setting or per client install setting. Okay. So if people are sharing the same machine, then it can get confusing. This is most common for people who use a terminal server and everyone shares and logs into the terminal server. <laughs> and in order to fix it, if multiple people are sharing the same machine, then in order to fix it, they need to have an install for each individual person. So they need a folder that says Fishbowl Lonnie, Fishbowl Jody, Fishbowl Susie, Fishbowl John, Fishbowl Larry. Everyone needs their own install and their own Fishbowl client icon on the screen if they want the email 
to make sense. Now, another thing you said was, uh, you know, one person emailed and it came from accounting, which didn't make sense to that person. And the reason it would come from accounting, because that person does not have their own personal email settings set up in their system. So if this does not exist, if the user does not have their email settings set up, then Fishbowl is going to use the next best thing, which is the company email setting. Yes, I guess the question now is how do we fix them? So the best way to fix them is to make sure that everyone has their own email settings set up. And if people are sharing the same computer, then they need to have multiple Fishbowl client installs if they want their own email. Is anyone in your company sharing the same computer? No. Okay. So that shouldn't be an issue then. Uh, the only itch thing that they need to do is go to Tools, Module Options, and enter this in. So Lonnie, if you want to send an email that comes from Lonnie instead of an accounting, then you need to put your Lonnie email and password here. SMTP should be the same. SMTP.office365.com. That should be the same. But then your email from name and your email. Sorry, go ahead. 99% of, of the things I send out of a fishbowl are from accounting. Okay. Then that makes sense for you to just leave it as accounting. That'll work for you. But for everyone else, they should put in their own email settings. And for the entire company, the SMTP and the port will be the same. Everyone will use the exact same. But then each individual person will have their own username and password, which is your email username and password. So some people might have to scratch their head a minute, see what, what that password was. They, it's not one very many people remember. You may have to reset their password because a lot of people just forget that password. But anyways, that's what needs to happen for those who are experiencing weird things with emails. You just watched this tutorial video all the way through. That must have been it was helpful. Click like below and subscribe to see more helpful videos like this. And if you have any questions about the content that was discussed in this tutorial, comment below and we'll respond. To reach us directly, go to brandoconsulting.com.